When one of the largest for profit colleges closed its doors, it left thousands of students in the dark and in some debt. The federal government is taking action to make sure that never happens again. It gave the axe to the agency that accredited the now closed ITT Technical Institute. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield is live tonight with details on how this could impact nearly 600,000 students, Ariel. Dia, you may remember when ITT Tech suddenly closed its doors earlier this month, forcing thousands of students to find alternatives. Many of those students still in thousands of dollars of student debt with some credits that are unable to be transferred. I was almost done, actually. I was in, uh, about halfway now. The last time we met Tyler Eiglich, we were standing in front of his school, days before he was set to begin his last quarter. I went up there to go see what's going on, and I met you guys. It was completely desolate. He and other ITT Tech students locked out. Campuses suddenly shut down. Now he's been trying to apply to other schools like DeVry University. I'm just hoping the credits transfer over to a new school. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Because, I mean, at this point, the, the degree would be worthless, it seems like. And the federal government agrees, which is why the Department of Education stripped the agency that accredited ITT Tech, the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools, meaning it could no longer be eligible for federal financial aid. That agency accredits hundreds of schools, most of which are for profit and have faced some sort of state or federal investigation. Many of the schools have some of the lowest graduation rates, but some of the highest rates of student loan defaults. You have to transfer your credits or uh, try to get student loan forgiveness, and you lose all your credits as well. So, I mean, that's, it just seems like a lose lose situation almost for anybody. The agency says it will appeal this decision and has 30 days to do so. As for Tyler, well, they said probably about two weeks after I got all my transcripts and things carried over, I took the, uh, the tests and passed them all. So, he's now stuck. Waiting. The decision does affect some schools in good standing. They'll have to now find a new accreditor, which could take up to 18 months. Live in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.